What's up guys, my name is Javier and thanks for coming to my channel. Today we're gonna be introducing the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. This is the third version of it and I can't wait for you guys to check it out. They've fixed a lot of bugs, they've added some firmware, some cool features on it. I can't wait for you guys to check it out. Roll the intro! What's up guys, thanks for coming to my channel. My name is Javier and we just got the new, well, it's not really new, but it's the Osmo Mobile 3. Now, I've liked it before. It's great for traveling vlog, it's great for just using it on your own, but I really wasn't too happy with some of the features that it had, some things, little hiccups here and there, but this Mobile 3, they really did a good job on it. So we're gonna do an unboxing today and we're gonna check out how it actually works and take you some uh, locations and different things to see how it works. And I'm pretty much gonna test it out just like you guys. I'm gonna, you're gonna see me do it at the same time. So any little hiccups I might have, you're gonna see it too. So let's get to it. So this looks kind of cool. So yeah, let's do this. Cool little unboxing over here. Let's break out the plastic. Yeah. This is gonna be nice. Throw this to the side. And let's get to it. Well, wait a minute. Let's do the unboxing the right way. Hit the B-roll. So right out the box, I mean, it's pretty cool. What I like about it is that the battery is already built in. Now, a lot of people might not like that because of the fact that before you used to buy the little small little batteries like the DJI Osmo, the first version, the Osmo, the one with the camera, the version two, it had the battery. So you could buy like four or five batteries and you had them with you at all times. The good thing about this is that with this one, it's rated at 15 hours. I'm pretty sure it might be a little bit less, maybe 10 to 12 hours that you might be able to use it. So instead of buying like four or five batteries that you need to before, because the other ones lasted about like maybe a couple hours when you were using it, this one lasts a long time. So yes, there's a downfall that you can't change the batteries and have extra batteries with you. You have to charge it. But I mean, using it for 10 hours, I mean, nobody's filming for more than 10 hours a day. So I like that feature. It also has the fact that it tracks your face I know that it did it before on the other one, but this one it tracks and at the same time it moves. So this is great for people that are actually doing videos on, by themselves, they're actually doing workout videos or that at the gym. Instead of propping your phone or a little light stand or something or a little tripod stand by itself and it's just a steady movement, you could actually have it, track your face, track your body and as you're doing your workouts and everything, it makes it a little bit more mobile, it makes it seem like you're with another person, you have a two or three man crew, so it's pretty cool for the one person, pretty much one man band, you got the girls that are working out at the gyms, you got your makeup tutorials that you're doing, some of us that are actually doing like video tutorials or things like that, if you're by yourself and you're in a pinch and you need to use it, this is a great feature, it gives you a lot more motion, it gives you a better sense of not having just one steady camera, you actually have a camera that's moving the entire time. It's in one fixed position, but it's moving around. So I'm gonna show you a real quick feature here. I'm gonna literally zoom into my face, and if you notice, it already started moving. This out of the box, you don't have to do anything. I haven't read any instructions. I mean, the instructions are somewhere here. I mean, they're here, they're still inside the box. I don't use them. Instructions, who cares? But the cool thing about this is that I'm going to create a little box over my head and it automatically started tracking me. So if I move over here, it grabbed me. If I move over here, it grabbed me. Now a cool feature that this has, it, it comes already with your little legs. Like before, it used to be something you had to buy separate, but I mean, now it's part of it. It's part of the little package. So I mean, this is a cool little feature to have. Um, what I actually like about it as well too is that the zoom feature, when you're on video mode, you literally could zoom in and out of your subject. Right now, I'm zooming into my video guy, that he's actually there. Wife, hey! So I could actually zoom into his shirt and zoom out right there, so that's kind of pretty cool. I mean, it's a digital zoom, it's not an optical zoom because obviously it's using your camera, but I mean, it's pretty cool. Another feature that it has is that 
Now, before it used to have a little locking mechanism over here. Now with this one, it's literally like squeeze. What is this feature called? Squeeze feature? We just call it the squeeze feature. But before you used to have a little knob in the back to tighten it, now you can have big phones and you could actually still bring it in here and lock it in place. So a cool feature, once you hit it three times, it'll flip your camera so you don't have to go and keep touching the camera. You flip it three times, it goes right back to the other one. All right, so let's try this. So we're in the gesture mode. So if I put my hand up, it sets up for a picture. Horrible. So that's a cool feature to have. I mean, you could pretty much do your thumbnails, take a picture, and you're ready to go. Now, it has panoramic view, it has your slow motion, it has time lapse feature, it has the hyper time lapse, which the same way that it focuses on your face, as you're walking, it'll focus on a certain object, and as you're walking doing your time lapse, it's holding that in focus or in frame, recording as you're walking towards a building. You highlight or section off that building and as you're walking to it, it'll keep that building centered. You pretty much can do that before in either Lightroom or Premiere Pro or one of these other programs, but now this does it within your camera already. It does your panoramic, it does it panoramic long ways and it also does panoramic, I believe nine pictures. So you could actually have a wide panoramic, your top version and your bottom versions. So right now we're just filming and we're just walking and it's, Pretty steady video. It has a quick motion too. So if you turn quick, it'll still catch all the video. So that's pretty neat. What I like about it is that you can push the button too. Push the button to automatically record. Dude, that is steady. And even if I like highlight you right there, it's in focus as I'm moving, it catches you and I'm still, look at my hand. Like I'm not moving my hand at all. Like, bro, this is crazy. Even if you take it out of frame, it catches you again. Once you were out of frame and brought you back in, it got you again. That's awesome. So right now I'm running. So you could see, even though I'm bouncing all over the place, it's still a steady shot. So now I was telling you about the, um, for girls or guys that you're doing your exercises and stuff like that, you could pretty much set up anywhere. Like right now I'm gonna put my little tripod on here. So once it found my face, it put me there. So as I'm could be talking to you guys like this and I'll set it now back up, it's gonna follow me. So as I follow me, I could do workouts, I could do training seminars, you could do all your yoga stuff. You know, you could walk around. It pretty much catches me. And as I'm walking away and I'm doing all my stuff, I could be over here. You could be talking, you could be moving around. This is a cool little feature to have because you could be working out at a gym, you could be working out in a park like this, and you could be doing all your training videos, doing all your stuff, and it feels like you have actually somebody with you the entire time. So right now I looked at that Wonder Bread, or what is it, Hollywood Breed building, and it seems like it's capturing it. I'm going, I'm walking around, I'm doing all these crazy things. I'm not moving my camera around, like just moving this, coming all around here. One thing I didn't show you is how small this thing is. So I pretty much take off the stand and this thing just closes up. So, I mean, this is so cool. It's so compact. The other one was, you always have to travel with it and have it open the entire time. But this one, I mean, closed up, it's great. Obviously I showed you in the little box that it comes. It's a beautiful, nice little box. I mean, just the craftsmanship alone is nice, I mean, really, really cool. And you pretty much just drop it in there. Now, I don't know if this would fit in there as well. No, see, that won't fit. But, I mean, you could put this in your pocket anywhere, but I mean, this is so cool. It's nice and compact. You can put it in your camera bag. I mean, look how thin this thing is, you know? So, pretty cool. Open it up, ready to go. Put your phone in there, your tripod stand. It's a nice little grip. Great, great, great upgrades that they've done to it. It's nice, it's compact, easy to travel with. It's super light. I mean, this is great for steady shots. If you're using your phone and you're just running or you're walking or you're doing your vlogging or you're doing IGTV, 
you're doing your stories, you can pretty much just record yourself. This is very cool, very nice to have. Nice firm grip and it has a little stand on here as well. So again, I love it. The descriptions are down below. If you guys wanna check it out, if you guys have any comments, any questions about it, please let us know. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button if you actually liked it, if you actually learned something from it, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>